Hello, in this video we're going to solve a challenging monopoly problem. A monopoly faces a linear market demand curve and has marginal costs constant at $2. It is maximizing profit by producing 5 units of output while earning $10 of producer surplus. We want to solve for the monopolist profit maximizing price, price elasticity of demand, market demand equation, consumer surplus, and deadweight loss. You'll notice one thing that is missing here is we don't have the equation for the monopolist market demand curve, but we're going to be able to back into it. So the hint in solving this problem is to draw a monopoly profit maximizing graph and plug in the information we know. So here's a sketch of this monopolist. Marginal cost is constant at $2. There is a downward sloping market demand equation, although we don't know the exact equation. The firm is producing five units of output, so where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, the firm is producing five units of output. Normally, we'd take this five units of output and plug it into the market demand, come across, and would get the profit maximizing price. Okay, we can't do that because we don't have the equation for the market demand. But what we do know is that producer surplus is $10. So producer surplus is the shaded rectangular area, since marginal cost is constant, it'll be this rectangular area. And what do we know about this, this area? Well, it's going to be width times length, and the width is going to be the monopolist price, profit maximizing price, minus the marginal cost. And the length is going to be the profit maximizing output, minus zero. So we're going to just solve this, and we know producer surplus is 10, so we got one equation, one unknown, and we're going to just solve for the price. And we get a profit maximizing price of $4. So plugging five units of output into the demand curve, we'd come across, and this is where $4 would be. All right, let's now solve for the market demand. It's going to be a multiple step process. This is what we know so far. The profit maximizing price is $4, marginal cost is 2, and we know that in, with profit maximization, marginal cost will equal marginal revenue, so marginal revenue is also $2. And the uh, profit maximizing output is 5, so we know all of this information right now. So here is a key equation. I, I've derive this result in other videos. I'm not going to drive it here, but it can be shown that marginal revenue equals the following, where P is the price and this E subscript D is elasticity of demand. So let's plug everything that we know into this equation. Marginal revenue is 2, since that equals marginal cost. The profit maximizing price is 4, and now we're just going to solve this for the price elasticity of demand, E subscript D. Okay, so dividing everything through by 4, 2 divided by 4, we get 1 half on the left-hand side. Subtracting 1 from both sides. Simplifying further, multiplying through by the price elasticity of demand. And then finally dividing through by minus 0 0.5, we get a price elasticity of demand of minus 2. So another bit of information we're able to get back from this process. So the price elasticity of demand is minus 2. We know that the elasticity of demand formula is given by taking the derivative of the demand equation, which we don't know yet, but we're going to take the derivative of the demand equation and multiply it by the ratio of price to quantity. Regardless, we know that the elasticity of demand in this problem is minus 2 at the profit maximizing price. And so what do we know? So the derivative of the demand equation with respect to price, I'm just going to call that B. Okay, it's basically just a slope of the demand equation. So I'm just going to call that B. And the price divided by the quantity, we know what they are. The profit maximizing price is $4 and the profit maximizing quantity is 5. So plugging that information into here, and now we're going to solve for B. B equals minus 2.5.
And remember, just your, your standard linear equation is given by y equals a plus bx. So we solve for the b. Demand curves are downward sloping, so it's not a surprise that it's negative. So plugging this now, this into a, an equation for linear demand, q is normally our y, p would be our x. Uh, we don't know our, our constant, but we do know that the parameter in front of p is minus 2.5 from this step. And we do know now a few other things. We know that at the at uh, one combination of Q and P is Q is five and P is four. Okay, that's at our profit maximizing uh, price and quantity. So plugging in four dollars for the price and five units for the quantity, we can now solve for A. And we get A equals fifteen. So we do now have our market demand curve that this monopoly faces, Q equals 15 minus 2.5 P. If we want, we can solve this equation for P to get the inverse market demand. So the inverse market demand, solving this for P, dividing everything through by minus 2.5 and solving, we get this result. Okay, let's move on. So let's now get consumer surplus. So again, we know the following, price is four, quantity is five, we have our inverse market demand from the last slide. And consumer surplus is going to be given by this equation. One half de the demand show price minus the profit maximizing price all multiplied by the quantity. So what is the demand show price? It's just going to be the vertical intercept of the demand curve. So where this demand curve touches the vertical axis, that's going to be at 6. So if Q is 0, P is 6. We know what the price is. The profit maximizing price is $4, and we know what the quantity is, 5. So solving that consumer surplus is $5. Now let's move on to the dead weight loss. As for the dead weight loss, this is what we know so far. Here is our inverse market demand, and we need to solve for the competitive output level. That's just going to be simply where this demand curve intersects marginal cost. So the competitive outcome price equals marginal cost. So here's the price equation, setting that equal to 2, the marginal cost, and solving for Q, Q equals 10. So in other words, this intersection right here, this intersection right here is 10 units. So the dead weight loss is going to be this triangle area right here. So the dead weight loss will be one half price minus marginal cost, price minus marginal cost over the base of this triangle, which is going to be the competitive output, 10 minus the monopoly output of 5. So plugging what we know into that formula, we're going to get a dead weight loss of $5. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.